Hey guys, Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of my shave of yesterday. <laughs> uh, I tried to do this video yesterday evening and I had some issues so wasn't able to get it done. And actually this really isn't even necessarily shave of the day. This is more of a follow up uh, with regards to my review um, of OSP from last week. So I've had the OSP pass around from the shave market in the den for a week and unfortunately due to crazy life circumstances I was only able to use each product once. Um, I was camping over the weekend with Boy Scouts and yada yada yada, it doesn't matter. Don't want to bore you with all the details but I was unfortunately only able to use each product once. I have three products as you may recall. Um, the 1882 which I reviewed last week, the Neroli scent on both of these are the shaving creams and then I was able to use this UKWSS um, OSP soap yesterday. And so I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about uh, the soap, also to give you my thoughts with regards to the Neroli as well. Uh, so just quickly, the Neroli shaving cream, I found it to be just like the 1882 performance wise, which obviously is no surprise at all. Um, Super slick, uh, fairly, um, you know, middle, I would call it a middle of the road, to, but, but a nice scent. You don't have to struggle to pick it up, uh, scent strength. But as, as I had figured, this is really not a scent for me. Um, this is very much in the same lane, uh, vein as tobacco, and I just don't really enjoy or appreciate those kinds of scents. And uh, so I used it uh, just to try it out, but um, again, the scent just not for me. But I did find incredibly slick, uh, but the cushion not there as much to me. On the other hand, this soap I found to be extremely cushiony. Um, slickness maybe not as much as the uh, shaving cream, um, but the cushion on this was phenomenal and the post shave feel was amazing. Um, really, really enjoyed the poche feel from this soap. So, if I were to to purchase um, one or the other, for me, I would lean more towards the soap than I would the cream. Now, I don't know what the price points are on these, and again, I, I don't even know who carries it in the U.S. Uh, OSP is a London-based um, soap, but I'm sure it's available somewhere in the United States, just not sure where. Um, but if I were to choose between the cream and the soap for me it would be the soap now that's not to say that the cream is a bad product not at all um very very good product the only difference uh to me is that i would give the cushion uh, an edge and uh, i really like the poche feel on this all over the cream but overall the look performance of these very good um check them out osp uh Obsessive soap perfectionist, good stuff, and uh, very appreciative of the opportunity to try them out. And uh, so, going to be sending them on down the road today. So, before I did that, though, I did want to kind of give you that um, follow up, especially my review or my thoughts with regards to the performance of the soap. I already reviewed the packaging prior to now but uh, wanted to talk to you about the performance and just what I had found with regards to the other shaving cream. So until next time, guys, Brian the Shaving Geek reporting live from my shave den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.